This review is for the Beskar 6-inch fan. This is something that I purchased specifically to dry oil paintings. Uh, the biggest factors that I was looking for when trying to find something was I wanted a fan that was relatively small that had a clip so that I could position it in different locations and I wanted something that did not use batteries because I didn't want to churn through a bunch of batteries and waste money so I wanted something that was plug-in. I bought this one based on reviews on Amazon and as I mentioned it's got this excellent clip that is very strong. Uh, it holds into position really well and I can clip it to uh, it opens wide enough to clip to a variety of surfaces like countertops and so forth. Um, I have not had it fall down yet so that's good. I've been using it mostly over here to try to place paintings on the counter and dry them off. It uses a USB uh, power so you can plug it in in your car or various other places. Uh, it does not come with a power brick, um, so if you want to plug it into an outlet, you need to supply your own. I happen to have quite a few lying around from various um, electronics and phones and so forth, so that wasn't an issue for me, but it's something to be aware of if you're buying it. Another thing to keep in mind is that the outlet is not super long. As you can see, that's about the extent of it. I guess it's a couple of feet. Um, it's a little tangled, so I think it might be three feet long. You need to have it relatively close to the plug. Um, you can also plug it into a power brick, though. Um, if you have like a portable charger for uh, your phones or other electronic devices, uh, that will work as well. This fan has three speeds. So that's the lowest speed, middle speed, highest speed. And it's pr relatively powerful considering how cheap the actual fan is and how small it is. It pushes a relatively decent amount of air. So I love the how adjustable it is. You can adjust it up and down, from side to side. I'm not sure if I can... Yeah, what? it's kind of hard to do one-handed since I don't have a tripod for, uh, for this particular camera angle, but um, it does go side to side with a little bit of resistance uh, and up and down. But it's pretty easy to adjust in whatever way you need. But the quality is good. I've, I've actually run it non-stop for about two weeks trying to dry a painting and it worked pretty well. Um, as I said, it pushed a lot of air and got the painting drier faster than it normally would have. It does what it's supposed to. There are not a whole lot of negatives with this. The only thing I would say is that it is actually pretty loud. I'm not sure how easy it is since I'm close to the camera. You can probably hear my voice better than you can hear the fan, but I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to play some music here and then so you can hear that and then it's right next to the fan lowest setting middle setting highest setting so you can hear that over the music, I think. And that is pretty loud music. So if there's a negative, if there's a negative, it would be that. But overall, it's a great fan. Um, as I said, it's very inexpensive. So a good value here. Uh, if you need a portable, somewhat larger than like the personal sized fans, something that's still relatively robust in terms of how much air it blows, this is a good option.